There is no targeted search for the possibility of a lost civilization because archaeology is already convinced that no such thing could have existed. So what we get is accidental discovery. Somebody's building a road or building a dam. They call in the archaeologists to see if there's any archaeology that's going to be disrupted, and some archaeology is found sometimes. That's how the Ceruti Mastodon site in, um, in uh, near San Diego uh, was, was discovered, because roadworks were being done there. Um, but this is not a targeted search for a lost civilization. This is accidental discovery. I would maintain that in the Amazon rainforest, in the Sahara Desert, in the 27 million square kilometers of continental shelves, uh, massively underserved by archaeology, and in other areas of the world, archaeology's focus is on very limited parts of those not on massive parts of them. And then, I'm sure you know this, Flint, that, that when we come to most archaeological sites, the amount of the site that is excavated is rarely more than 5% and often, uh, and often less than that. And that's for good motives, to preserve the site for future generations of archaeologists to investigate. But again, it, it, it doesn't, I think, allow archaeologists to lay such claim to the past that they can absolutely rule out any possibility of a lost civilization. Okay. Flint? Yeah, I mean, so if you want to, Jamie, do you want to look up the site Pavlo Petri, P-A-V-L-O-P-E-T-R-I? This is a site in the Aegean, and this is an example of kind of what, uh, I mean, I can boot it up on my computer. If yeah, you yeah. So if you look at this, you have very clear stone courses, for example, underwater, and it's not just sort of stone courses and walls that we find. This is from a few thousand years ago. What we find actually are a ton of artifacts with it, right? They dive, they excavate, they pull up ceramics, they pull up stone tools, and they, they, they are able to therefore show that this was an occupied place. This is obviously not due to sea level rise. This is due to tectonic activity, that this is now underwater. Helike off the north coast of Greece also is another one that people people have suggested might have inspired Plato's Atlantis because it happened during Plato's lifetime that that city was submerged underwater. And so we actually do find, you know, from more recent times, actual underwater sites um, aplenty. And Pavlo Petri, uh, what year was that? Uh, that I it think it's from submerged? about 3,000 oh, 3, years ago or so. So like 1,000 BC-ish. I, I could be off by a Are you saying years. those are natural blocks at Pavlo Petri? No, I'm saying you can say, see clear stone courses that looks exactly like the type of architecture we have above ground. Mm -hmm. And so the same kind of stone courses. What you have you at Yonaguni... You would expect that from the historic period, no? Huh? You would expect that from the historic period. Yeah, we would. And so I would expect, though, if you're going to make an argument for something like Yonaguni, that it would look like architecture. Maybe even the type of architecture that you have. Looks like megalithic architecture to me. Looks like rock-hewn architecture. It looks like the rock-hewn areas at Saxe Huaman, uh, for example. Jamie actually pulled no, up some pictures No, we see many different blocks at Saxe Huaman. We see multiple courses mm, of blocks stacked one on top of each other. you know Have you been there? No, I've never been there, Grant. So how can you possibly talk about it? Because I've seen photos of it. Well, I've been there dozens of times. Wait, wait. How can you actually talk about I was, I, was I, was there, I was there just a few weeks wait ago. A second. No, no. Okay, but let's let's look at the images so we <laughs> can discuss look at, this. Let's look at the images because Saxe Huaman is a very complicated site. Yes, there are huge blocks in the zigzag walls at Saxe Huaman, but there are also huge rock-cut areas with steps in them. I don't understand how being there lets you talk about it better than me. You've been there as a tourist to see how archaeologists have conserved it and preserved it and presented it for people coming by. That is not the same thing as excavating a site. That is not the same thing with understanding archaeological literature. Well, to tell me that I've not been there so I cannot it's, it's, talk it's about It's obvious that you're ignorant of the site, <laughs> Flint. You're ignorant of the site because you don't know what it? the site looks like. You don't know well, the huge of, areas well, that are cut not, out of solid rock. You just not, talk about blocks. There's let's much not more bicker to, here to and that. let's like look at it and discuss it. Yeah, let's do that. It. Let's look at it. Uh, how, do you, um, how do you spell that? Saxe Huaman? S A C. S A Y H U A M A N. Okay, got it. Uh, now that's the blocky walls that you've been talking about. Yeah, and that doesn't look anything like Yonaguni. But they confront another area. You were showing us some pictures of it earlier, Jamie. Uh, a whole rock hewn hillside. I don't know. None of that looks like Yonaguni. This looks like actual architecture. Yeah, it is actual architecture. <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But this is not the picture that I would like to see. Do you want to find it, Graham, and put it up through HDMI? Because Jamie obviously. I, mean, I know what he was asking for, but you I had it stumbled, up a few across, ago, stumbled Jamie. across it. I wasn't. It wasn't there on purpose or anything. It was probably in here somewhere. And like how I got there, I, I was <laughs> clicking around. So, hmm. Let's see if we can 
get uh, sexy. And I mean, you know, it. part of the goal, though, is to also have a date. So, you know, like some of that stuff that you showed there. off the coast of uh, India. In, this, in this, the, that one there. Okay. There's lots it. of this in Saxe Juan Manfred, so, as you would know if you'd been there. <laughs> this still does not look anything like Yonaguni to me. It doesn't look like a series no, of steps cut no. out of rock. I mean, it looks like a series of steps, yeah, but it doesn't look like... It actually looks like a, 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 a room there, even, is what I see on the left, for example. It's, it's, not, a, it's it, not a room. To me, it looks similar, but not similar in that whole room area on the left-hand side. That is, I don't think anybody could look at that and ever argue that that wasn't made by humans. I think that's so clear. Hmm. Whereas, if you look at... Go back. But I also don't know image, if this is Saxe yes, is. This is on Quora, right? Yeah, I don't know what it is. Let's go look and oh, see what it is. It's a photo by Santa Fe. It is. So it, is. It's, it is, okay. <laughs> by <Okay>. your wife. <laughs> so but the the difference to me is like there's some it, like instances like in between the steps where you look at that flat surface and, and the, the uniform line across the flat surface, that does look similar to Yanaguni. Um, some of the stuff on the right looks much more refined than what you see in Yanaguni, but that also could be attributed to the underwater erosion, right? Mm -hmm. And thousands and thousands of years. Whereas, how old is Saxe Juan supposed to be? Well, that's an ongoing argument, yo. Mm, okay. Well, Pedro Cieza de Leon mentioned it was only built 100 years before he was there. The difference between, in my mind, Saxe Juan shows all those other things that are so clearly architecture. So clearly stone blocks fitted and piled onto each other. You don't quite see that level of sophistication at the Yanaguni site, but you do see some stuff that's very bizarre and doesn't look like it's natural. And I suggest if we were to look further and spend the money and investigate thoroughly, we would find a lot more. I'm, I'm simply raising this to address Flint's apparent point that uh, archaeology has done enough already to rule out the possibility of a lost civilization. That's certainly what's said in the SAA's letter to Netflix. Mm -hmm.